Hey guys, Pokestick29 here. Welcome to episode number 39 of my Bucket Plugin Coding Tutorials series. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play sounds in uh, Minecraft. Before we begin, I just want to take a minute to discuss a project that I've been thinking about recently. I think it's a pretty cool idea, and I just want to know if you guys would consider using it. If I get enough support, I will definitely... Uh, make it. I thought of an idea for a website called MC DevNet or Minecraft Developer Network. Basically, developers and users could register on the website. Users could post a plugin request including the name, information, commands, permissions, etc., and the price that they would be willing to pay. Developers could then go on and see a list of all of the plugin requests, they could then uh, accept a plugin if it seems like something that they could do. Uh, it would then lock the plugin from being accepted by anyone else. Um, the developer, there would be a comment system. The developer could post status updates on the project and uh, there would be private messaging so that the developer and the user can talk. Finally, at the end, the developer would upload the plugin, the user would pay the developer and the user would be sent a link to download the plugin. If you guys have any interest in something like that, please let me know. Uh, I get a lot of requests every day for people asking me to make plugins and offering money, so I figure rather than me having to tell every, any, everyone, I'm sorry I'm too busy, which you know I am, I can just say go post it on MC DevNet and a developer can find it. It connects developers to users. If you have any interest, just just a comment saying MC DevNet sounds cool would be really helpful, and if I get enough good response, I will definitely make it. Now on that note, if you are a web developer um, and you're interested in being a part of this project, please send an email to pokesic29dev at gmail.com with your Skype name because I do need a team of a few people to undertake this uh, website. Um, also, I'm going to run a little contest. Um, if you uh, if you are a graphic designer, um, if you can make a logo for MC DevNet, it is stylized as MC DevNet like that. And um, if you could make a logo, probably something Minecraft related and maybe code related, uh, if you could make a logo and send it to poker629dev at gmail.com, the best uh, logo will get used and you will get a some kind of a special permissions or something on the website and you'll be in inducted into the MC DevNet Hall of Fame, if that makes any difference to you. So, uh, again, MC DevNet, comment if you're interested, web developers, uh, if you're interested, send me an email, and uh, graphic designers, if you're interested in entering the contest, uh, it would be really awesome. Uh, we do need a logo. Uh, moving on, we are now going to learn about sounds, and our example is going to be to play a sound when a block is broken. So, for this, we're just going to need a simple event, public void on block break, and this is a block break event E. We can then say, you're probably going to want to say exclamation point E dot get cancelled, uh, sorry, E dot is cancelled. So, if the event is not cancelled, if the block is broken, then that's probably what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to say e dot get block dot get world. So we have an instance of the world class. You can also do bucket dot get server dot get world and give it a string name if you wanted to. But within the world class, you can say play sound, and it will take a location, a sound, and two floats. So we're going to want to say e dot get block dot get location. Uh, the sound is um, an enum or an enumerator, so you can look through all of these and pick a sound that you want for different things. For this, we're going to do a um, ghast scream. Why not? Blocks can feel pain. Um, these two are floats. Um, I believe one of them controls the volume. Uh, yeah, one of them controls the volume and one of them controls the pitch, I believe. 
Um, but if you set them both to 1, I've found that that works fine. Um, so let's go ahead and um, uh, register our event. Server dot get plugin manager dot register events this comma this all right and we already have our plugin dot yml so we should be able to export lock sound to our testing server and let's go ahead and start it up. Alright, and looks like that loaded, so let's go ahead and start up Minecraft. Ah, yes. There we go. And by the way, that email I just typed in, I do not use it. If you send an email to it, I will not get it. Use pokestick 29 dev at gmail.com. So let's go ahead and join our local host server. Seems to be a bit slow, but that's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and give this a um, try. So as you can see, I break the block. And it plays a gassed scream. It does sound like it is a different scream every time, which is um, actually pretty cool. But um, whenever a block is broken, the block will scream because you just broke it, and I'm sure it's in, in a lot of pain. So uh, that was a little tutorial on how to use sounds. Um, again, from the world class, you can just call play sound. Uh, if you wanted to play a sound for a player, you can do player.getworld.playsound, and you give it the player's location, the sound you want. As far as the floats, one and one should be good, but um, you can experiment with it, uh, it to change the pitch, and I believe the volume or something else. Uh, so, as always, comment with what you want to learn, subscribe if you want to see more, uh, don't forget to uh, let me know what you think of MC DevNet, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.